One of the key problems in identifying transactional risk is you typically have to use a rule-based approach. So if we take duplicate invoices, for example, you'll have to develop some rules. But the problem with rules is if you make the rules too specific, you'll miss lots of duplicate invoices. Therefore, you naturally have to make the rules quite wide. But by doing that, you'll get inundated with invoices which match the rules, but which are not duplicate invoices. It creates a really inefficient process for the AP team. So where we use AI anomaly-based detection, it means, in short, we can catch the duplicates without giving you all the noise, all the false positives that come with it. It means that the team have much less work. It also means that when we surface a duplicate or a potential duplicate, it normally is one, and rather than you know, one in a hundred or one in a thousand being a true duplicate. With our transactions module, we offer a workflow which enables you to manage the potential duplicates. So typically in terms of workflow, we'll have someone from the AP team hop into the platform in the morning. You may see you know, five or 10 potential duplicates from yesterday. Um, you would then go through, investigate those. You can mark those as yes or no. And there's lots of reporting that you can do off the back of that. It also enables uh, managers, for example, to track around what's happening, both in their entity, but also from a group or global perspective. Another side benefit is we also use machine learning to learn from those inputs. So we have a very, very high accuracy in identifying duplicates, but we're not perfect. Occasionally, we will surface the odd incorrect result. Um, when you tell us that that wasn't a duplicate, our platform learns from that input. So we have a feedback loop. So if we see that you keep rejecting particular errors for particular vendors, we'll then lower the risk rating on that over time.